Hello fellow modelers, it's me David and it's time for creation. Another homemade tool that I use for many years is this riveting tool. Actually made uh, two of them, because one is for 72 and one is for 48 scale models. And it will be straightforward as usual. You can of course buy some riveting tools, but the cheap blue ones with a plastic handle are not the best and the professional ones can cost you a fortune. So in this video I will show you how to make excellent riveting tool probably for one or two dollars. And guess what? I bought a metal handsaw, so I don't need to use dangerous electric tools for cutting metal ruler. So and I will use metal ruler again. Anyway, shall we begin? This thin metal plate with a small teeth is from cheap riveting tool. I never used it for models because as you can see it is easy to bend and thus is hard to make straight lines. I made this one. My tool has much smaller wheels and with a longer teeth. So we can make a deeper rivet holes. This is the result on the plastic board. The rivets are nicely straight and pronounced. So I hope that I convinced you to make this tool also. The essential component is metal gears from old mechanical watches. If you do not have home some old broken watch, you can simply buy cheap steampunk loot of watch components from eBay. Something like this. You can use these lovely brass gears, but they are very fragile, so I can recommend gears made from steel. They are used in watches for widening system because there is more pressure and friction. I have gears with different tooth pitch, so I chose the 0.7 and 0.5 mm. It is suitable for 72 and 48 scale models. I must drill out a classic circular hole for M2 bolt. As I told you, the material is very strong and the classic drill bit to steel had a problem with it. So I can recommend some better drill bit for a stainless steel or micro grinding tool with a diamond milling cutter head. Now it is like a butter. Another problem is that the teeth are white and the rivet holes has a square shape. Therefore it is appropriate bevel edges with a grinder, just slightly. It is crucial moment, because you can easily make the shape uneven or remove too much material. On the video it looks large, but the wheel has only 8mm in diameter, and each tooth has more or less 0.4mm. Luckily I made it at the first try, and it should look like this. The grinding pink disc is from micro grinding tool, but you can use an ordinary soft hobby metal file as well. The test rivet line looks lovely and uniform, so more grinding is not necessary. Now let's make the handle. I draw as usual blueprint with a basic dimensions, so you can find it in the video description. I am cutting out from metal ruler thin 5mm stripe. In the previous video I used the grinding tool for cutting, but this hand saw is much better, faster and primarily safer. Next time I think it will be better to remove the rubber covers from a vise. It is too flexible and it was tricky to drill a straight hole. Now I need to drill a screw thread for M2 bolt. It will nicely fix the position of the bolt and riveting wheel. I have for this purpose a small thread drill bit and do not forget to use some oil. The wooden handle I'm making from 4mm thick plywood board. 
I have home large board for RC models, so I need again only small stripes. The plywood is made from three layers, and luckily the top layer has only 1mm thickness, which is the same as ruler. And the top layer is made from soft wood, thus it's easy to remove the top layer precisely. I use for gluing Universal Contacta Glue, which is very strong, but the drying time is more or less one day. The cut with ordinary hand saw wasn't again clean. Thus I'm removing imperfections and bevel edges with a sandpaper. The result with the bevel edges is very comfortable for handling, and also it looks more professional. The layers of the plywood are beautiful, and I'm making them more pronounced with a transparent water-based semi gloss varnish. Ok, that was fun, now it only remains to assemble the tool together. I need to find some M2 bolts and nuts in my loot. A few minutes later, I found this lovely bolt from old RC helicopter. If you have self-locking nut, use it, but if not, then you can fix position with a super glue. Try to make it tight as much as possible, but the wheel must still spin. I have some blueprints for 72 and 48 scale models, so correct is to use 0.5 tooth pitch for 72 scale and probably some 48. The 0.7 is primarily for 48, but again you can combine them together. I think it is another lovely tool for your collection. And that is all. Stay creative and thank you for watching.